Nonetheless, that's the only thing that we can do here in New York would deal with words. Uh, we hope that our words uh, just might be heard to, to prompt some sort of action. Uh, we feel obligated uh, that uh, we somehow must reflect the cries of the people in Bihach. And if we can't uh, uh, scream uh, and reflect uh, their own suffering, their own pain, then at least we're going to try to make sure that the world does not forget the injustice in its, in its own demands in Bihach. That's why we're moving ahead with uh, anything at this point in time to try to bring about some action. Is there anything left for you to do? Is there... Uh, the Russians here are not defending just Serbia and Montenegro. They're defending actually those people who are slaughtering the civilians of Bihach right now. They're actually defending the interests of those people who have invaded our country. The British I think they're resigned to seeing a member of the United Nations uh, swallowed up by an aggressor. Uh, the French, they seem to be just as inclined to go along with the rest of the community to continue to reward the aggressor until, in fact, the aggressor is satisfied, until that appetite has been quenched. And unfortunately, the United States, at least this administration, seems to be giving in uh, to this uh, inevitable trend uh, that they perceive. Uh, so I don't know if we have any friends left except those other small countries who could face the same type of problem, uh, the same type of aggression that we faced. Certainly the big powers of the world, I think, have given up uh, their responsibility. I think they're using this uh, United Nations as a place where excuses are made rather than where action is uh, undertaken and where principles and legality are upheld. It has allowed uh, its own interests in Bosnia and in maintaining the integrity, the legality uh, of the United Nations to be overcome by uh, some pragmatic objectives in dealing with the Russian Federation and with the European allies. But I don't think this administration or others realize that in fact what's happening right now, that uh, by giving in one more time, one more time to the Europeans and to the Russian Federation, actually they're compromising not only themselves, but I think they're compromising any chance for peace. And frankly, I think uh, they are selling out um, the principles, the legality that is behind uh, this uh, United Nations and behind the entire system of international law and order. Both um, we and the United States have tried the multilateral approach to trying to bring peace to Bosnia. Obviously, this multilateral approach is um, not effective. It's effective been compromised uh, by the role of the Russian Federation, the United Kingdom, and even France in uh, really undermining any uh, measures that could be effective in not only bringing uh, ceasefire uh, to Bihać, but also peace to all of uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. I think now it's really time to re-examine unilateral approaches to bringing peace to Bosnia. And I think uh, uh, we should uh, once again reevaluate the message, uh, the advice that's coming from the U.S. Congress regarding uh, peace in Bosnia. Uh, certainly the allies, so-called European allies, have not, proven, uh, them, have not proved themselves to be worthy of that name. And the Russian Federation, frankly, I think, uh, has failed uh, to show that it is in any way changed from the old Soviet Union.